So, Far Cry 4, um, it's not going to have any female uh, char- playable characters, but the, uh, the uh, what, what was his name, Gareth? The, uh, Alex Hutchinson said there's going to be loads of bitches in it. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it's going to be chock full of women, but you can't play any of them. Now, I mean... <laughs> Jokes aside, he actually said it. He didn't actually say that. I don't want to quote him, but I thought it would be amusing. Um, I love the look of Far Cry 4. Have you watched, have you watched the video? Have you watched the trailer? Uh, I haven't, I've watched the trailer where they're doing the little helicopter thing, they're flying around. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, awesome. Did you hear about the PS4 version? If you've got a, a PS4 and you've got like a Plus account, you can play along with your friend who has a copy of Far Cry 4 without owning the game. How? I have no fucking idea how this works. It's going to be amazing to find out. It really is. You know, you know you're buying this game, and I'm just going to be sitting around your house like all the time playing it. Because, because okay, it is coming out on the PS3 and the 360, but it looks just epically awesome on the next-gen consoles. I think it's going to suffer from uh, watchdog problems, where you, it looks good now, but by the time you get it, it's just going to look like a scaled-up version of the other one. So I calm down when it comes to the graphics because it's not going to be that. Uh, just just on, on a note, yeah, there are a lot of girl gamers. There are, it's getting close to 50. It's almost getting close to 50-50. Um, they're probably all playing Mopus and and like kind of stuff like that, but given the fact that the girl gamers are so high, we'll say, we'll say they're 40%. We'll say 40% of all gamers are, are, are women or girls. Um, given the fact that it's so high, why aren't the big kind of publishers and that catering to them? What, what do you, why do you think that is? What do you mean, why they're not catering? I mean, I, I, Mass Effect peel, uh, uh, appeals to a lot of uh, uh, the feminine species. I mean, a lot of my uh, female friends who are gamers are, love Mass Effect. Uh, you, um, yeah, but I, I be honest with you, I played as the woman shepherd because I just got tired of playing yeah, I, with the grizzled... I, that it looks like me, practically. I think the gaming industry is still very masculine. Not that that's correct, um, because it really isn't. As I said, I know a lot of girls now that are hardcore gamers. It probably, I mean, I know one person who, who I, I drink with regularly who, who seriously is, is much more of a hardcore gamer than I am. So it's why do they not cater to them? I think it's purely because they've got the heads up their asses and still think it's a masculine environment and it really isn't. I think it's amazing because there's, a, there's an opportunity there to open up and expand the market. It really is. There's a, there's a big opportunity there to open and expand the market and sell more more games and more games consoles and stuff uh, and PCs and, and things if if they realise that they have women gamers who want to play. It goes, it goes we've got women gamers and then we've got other people because it always is the grizzled white guy. Yeah, it's the, the, there's barely any games with him like a, like a Chinese protagonist or a black protagonist or anything. It's terrible because people play these games. I can understand the, the, the masculine and feminine thing because there should be. There's, there's blatantly obvious room for for women in, in games to play. It, it, they can play... It could be like a, a woman's version of Call of Duty. You know? Go and get your gun, Annie. <laughs> or something like that. It depends. You know, they, they need to do market research. Figure out what's missing... And then when they figure out what's missing, then they can put it in because we got bitches in this game, but you can't play any. It is not very good for Far Cry 4, I think. No, I mean, it, it, there, it, there is change of foot. I mean, you know, as I said, I mean, the gaming industry has always been massively male orientated. You only have to look at the original Lara Croft, who, whose, excuse the term, boobs used to get bigger and bigger every bloody um, uh, game that came yeah. out. The new uh, Tomb Raider. I think is far more feminine. It's I mean, written. By, it's been written by a woman. I haven't played it. I've got it on my Plus account. It's, it's really good, and yeah. it, it's not all about boobs. <laughs> Do you it, know what? It's like ironic. Is is that it's inspired by bloody Uncharted? Uncharted. The 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 creative director I think was a woman, Amy Henning, if I remember correctly, on Uncharted. But it's funny because Uncharted was kind of inspired between Indiana Jones and Lara Croft, and then it, Lara Croft went, well, let's, let's do it like Uncharted. And I think that's quite it's quite clever in the way that kind of things kind of come round in the loop, like in um, Battlestar. But yeah, you're right. I, that's, I, really, I mean, I really did enjoy the last Tomb Raider. It was, it was very good. 
Okay, I'll have to, I'll have to sit down and play it. I might play it after this, um, just to see what it's like. Because as I said, it's just stashed on my on my PS3 because my lovely Plus account just keeps throwing free games at me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so um, Far Cry Four. Uh, can't play as a woman, but it's got plenty of bitches in it. <laughs> I, I really, I genuinely think that there is this like kind of you're playing through the game and you'll see no women whatsoever, and then there'll be a scene in the strip club right towards the end, and people will go mental, <laughs> absolutely mental over it. But, I, I, um, I have to say, I am very excited about Far Cry 4. I mean, as much as yeah, it, it really should have playable female characters, in, especially in the multiplayer, but. I, hang on, hang on. I love the look of it. Whoa, 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 hang on, wait. There's no women character in the multiplayer. No. What the fuck? Well, you never oh, play no. as a female in the, all the. It was you had playable female characters in in the thing, but this is what, from what I'm reading, it's got no playable female characters. I I, I thought it was just like the, the first person story, and we were following someone around, and because we were following that one person around in the story, he, he says he clarifies <laughs> that the team didn't have time to create animations for women. Uh, I think the guy from Naughty Dog, the, the chief animator at Naughty Dog, turned around and said that was bullshit. He goes, I could do it. He goes, if you let me do it, I could do it within two hours or so. So I hope it's not another Far Cry 2. I hope this is as good as Far Cry 3, if not better. Yeah, yeah, but I, um, I don't know what the guy's going to be like, because Vass was the person who was, who was really good in um, Far Cry 3. Okay, shall we move on to our third story?